Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor and I help you break the mold of past trauma and heartbreak so that you can have the amazing life and business of your dreams. So today I would like to talk to you about a subject that is near and dear to my heart and it is a powerful subject that is very deep. It took me years to unravel the truth about my mother. You know, our mothers are the ones that are our first touch with love. When our mother holds us and looks at us with eyes of love, we mirror back to her the love. However, with a narcissistic mom, there's a void there and it's vast. Our first touch with love with a narcissistic mother crosses our wires and is indelibly printed on our brain because our brain is being wired, hardwired. And the neural pathways that are created early on after birth are the hardest ones to change. You know, I, I, <laughs> I suffered from all kinds of things, a lack of self-respect, low self-esteem. I didn't feel enough. I sabotaged myself. I was hugely critical of me. Why? All of these things come from having a mother that isn't empathic or isn't compassionate. And they're often what they, they do is they, they think of their children as an extension of themselves. They're in competition with us. They're envious of us. They are hugely critical and they withdraw love if we're not perfect. So we grow up being people pleasers, perfectionistic with a lack of self-respect, we have no integrity, we are like a deaf mute, we can't speak up for ourselves, and likely, if your father was present, he did his very best to keep the peace, which is what my father did. We heard so often to keep peace in the household. He never referred to my mother as the one that he was keeping peace with, but that was the case. So, you know, what I will tell you is, as a coach and a healer, I know what it takes to get to the source of the pain and the suffering if you have had a narcissistic mother. And I have helped thousands of people overcome trauma, anxiety, the illnesses that come along with this, the self-abuse, beating ourselves up with our words and our thoughts. And, you know, let's, let's get out of this one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake, wondering why am I not as successful as I should be? If you had a narcissistic mother, you're likely an empath. You may be a healer, you may be a coach. And stepping into the highest truth of your being requires letting go of the past, reframing it, and that's what I help you do. If you're interested in having a discovery session to find out how we can heal all of this, and I will tell you, my mother is 99 this year, and we have a beautiful, loving relationship now. It wasn't always the case, but I had to stand in my truth. I had to stand up for myself, and it took a lot of courage. In the process, I've dropped the bitch. I used to feel like I had to be a bitch to be heard because <laughs> remember how, you know, the narcissist keeps us mute. We can't speak up and all of these things can be transformed. So I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. No, there is good news that you're here for a reason. You chose this mother for a reason. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, all of these things can be cured and healed. And the other thing that I want to just mention is 
you know, it's likely that you've been attracting narcissists and you wonder why. Um, I sure did. It's because we have a filter. Our, our narcissistic filter is, is turned off because our mother was a narcissist and we, we had to believe that our mom loved us. She did the best she could. However, uh, she projected, she competed, she demeaned, she was cruel. And all of those things make you think that you're not enough, that you're not loved. And I'm here to tell you that you are, and I can help you to get to this place of living in joy and happiness and having a successful business. So I'd love to hear from you. What are your challenges? What questions do you have? And we can talk about all of this on a discovery call. Sending you much love. This week, we're working through these issues with narcissistic moms. Thanks for being here.